So I'm here now at Identity Week Asia. I'm joined by Annie Rang, who's Head of Operations at Lloyd International Airport. And he's just come off the stage in our keynote theatre, uh, finishing his presentation, which is brilliant. Um, how did you how did you find the reception um, of what you were speaking about today? So it was well received and uh, we had a wider audience. Uh, this is one of the conference where I don't have many people from my industry, but uh, people, those who touch base on the travel and the airport, not specific, very uh, technical to airport. So I enjoyed speaking to wider audience and uh, shared my views on the identity biometric. Um, and that program, the Didi Archer program, has the government of India finished um, its plans with this program to enable seamless passenger processing? So, um, though I can't be spokesperson from government, but still I am sharing uh, my understanding on this. So right now, uh, DG Yatra is rolled out at 12 airports and in the first phase of the busier airports. And gradually, uh, the ecosystem is getting developed and more airports start participating. So this will be further extended to next year and will be four or five years program when we see everything covered under uh, the Jiyatra uh, ambit. So right now it's uh, on the, some of the busy airports where we had uh, pilot testing last year and now it's fully matured of the airports. And to what extent could we in enhance, you know, data sharing between the travel sector and governments? This is a, a big, you know, collaboration across the whole of the travel sector um, but we do know that some data you know can be better shared um, is this the case in India? So the good thing about DG Yatra Foundation which is spearheading the whole uh, biometric and identity part there are airport operator they are part of the DG Yatra Foundation Government of India Ministry of Civil Aviation uh, has control over it so data is sitting in your mobile device. You give your consent to use, and it is shared for a very limited time with the airport when the originating airport. It is all purged and encrypted, so it cannot be misused. Having said so, uh, there are challenges uh, on trust, where people still have to uh, develop that trust that data is not uh, misused. So this is also one of the... Uh, objective and one of the things where airport operator DG Yatra Foundation is working on uh, uh, having that trust of the traveler where they, their life is better and we can have uh, more adoptability of DG Yatra. And what's the role of biometrics? You know, has it helped to minimize the risks of data being lost? Um, what's its influence really in travel? So there are uh, two parts to it. One is that it has enhanced the security in airport. Uh, so you dev you verify the identity rather than looking at the paper and manual checking where there's a chance of uh, mistake. In biometric, you're 100% sure that who is moving and you have better control on that. Second, and reduce processing time at the airports, which will not only enhance the passenger experience, it also uh, have faster processing time, standard processing time, which will help in uh, optimizing the efficiency as well as it will save a lot of money in future expansion where you can uh, accommodate more number of people with the higher processing standardized processing times. How many airports are now fitted uh, with the East Biometric? So... As we speak on this day when we are completing one year in India of Niji Yatra, there are 12 airports which are already covered in Niji Yatra and 14 more would be onboarded by April 24. Well, I look forward to following this, uh, following the, the scale of um, biometrics. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Avi. Thank you for having us. Bye-bye.